What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and you guys can check me out on Instagram below, but welcome to another episode of Footballers. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Under Armour Blur Smoke. Alright guys, so let's get into the unboxing part of the video. I actually have three different pairs of these cleats, so you guys are going to get to see them in a whole bunch of colorways. So here are the three boxes, these are your standard um, Under Armour boxes. Pretty sweet, alright? So, I guess we'll unbox this one first since it's on the top. And this one might be my favorite out of the bunch. All right, check these out. So these are the limited edition 96 Under Armour racing pair. Give you guys a nice up close look. Tons of super cool details on these cleats. Like I said, they're probably my favorite. I love the black, red, and the yellow. A little bit of sparkle in the yellow there. Um, all right, so let's get these out of the package so we can do the other ones. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little unboxing, and then we'll get into the actual review of the cleats. Um, so there's one, there's two. So here is the second colorway we got. This one was from our friends over at East Bay. So shout out to East Bay. Check these out. These ones are blue and black. Mostly black, but if you look closely, you'll see kind of those blue accents. And then the plate. Oh, I can't get enough of this traction plate. Um, excited to tell you guys how it performs later in this video. But let's get the paper out. Kind of talk about some of the cool details we see. Let's get the let's get the insole out. Um, Under Armour makes some awesome insoles. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that soon. Uh, it says, all right, the warning. It says, warning, this equipment is to be used by trained athletes only with a little skull and crossbones kind of thing going on there. Um, this is Under Armour's 4D foam, I believe. This is their super high rebound insole. Um, super duper comfortable. All right, so let's get the second one out for you guys real quick. Kind of go over some more details. So here's a little detail on the inside of the cleat. It says blur in a blurry font. Uh, UAF 0811 high octane jet fuel. Check out some more details on the tongue. UA, another little skull and crossbones-ish logo. Um, overall, really cool cleat. A couple other things here on the back. Um, really cool. All right, final pair is a pair I've already opened because I had to test them for the final review. Give you a little sneak peek. So shout out to oa sports llc on instagram for sending me this pair right here these were the first pair i got i didn't expect to get any from east bay and under armor themselves um, but he hooked me up no problem no questions asked with these amazing uh super awesome looking green pair so as you guys can see i did test them out so this uh, unboxing isn't as satisfying as the rest uh, but here's what they look like i love this pair the all green with the, the neon green on the inside and the little accents um so cool um so yeah you still have your blur uaf 11 high acting jet fuel and then you've still got, you know, some super cool logos here and just that cool little design there. Um, really, really cool pair of cleats. Um, so yeah, this is the pair I'm gonna be focusing on when I do the review because obviously, as you guys can tell, um, this is the pair that I tested out. So now that you guys have checked out the unboxing of these cleats, let's get into the actual review. If you guys have seen these videos, you guys know there's a couple things I look for when reviewing a football cleat. Let's kick off this review by talking about the comfort of the Under Armour Blur Smoke. Like most Under Armour cleats, these things are really comfortable. As you guys can see, they do have a ton of padding in the heel, but the cleat itself is super duper narrow. When I tested these things out, my foot was up against the side of the cleat and I don't have like wide feet or anything, so that was kind of uncomfortable. But one thing I really do like is the tongue of the cleat is actually super duper soft and felt super cool on top of my foot. As far as the upper goes, as you guys could probably tell, these things are modeled after a track spike. So the upper itself is super duper flimsy, but it kind of adapts to your foot. So it's not gonna make it uncomfortable, but it is gonna affect the fit and sport, which I will get into soon. So lastly, in typical Under Armour fashion, these things have Under Armour's super high rebound insole. These things are super squishy, super comfortable, and absorb all that impact. Woo! Now let's talk about the weight. These are the lightest cleats in 2021, weighing in at 8.9 ounces, which is lighter than the Adidas Adi Zero. As I mentioned earlier, these things are modeled after a track spike and track spikes are super duper lightweight. So of course these things have the shape of a track spike, they have the low cut, they have the thin upper, and they are super duper lightweight. Now let's talk about the fit and support. So like I just said, these things are modeled after a track spike, which unfortunately means they have literally no support whatsoever. The upper is made from Under Armour's super thin TPU skin, which is super lightweight, but supposedly really strong. But unfortunately for me, these cleats actually fit pretty badly. I have these cleats in my normal size and they feel great until I take a step. With every single step I took in these cleats, my heel would actually rise out of the cleat, which sucked. And trust me guys, I tried to lace these up nice and tight to see if it would prevent it, but it did not work. Another thing I hated about these cleats was these stretchy laces. So as you guys can see, these laces actually stretch, which means you really never get a true lockdown tight fit. Another reason I think my heel kept slipping is because these do not have a solid heel cup. This heel cup 
cuff is not sturdy, not supportive whatsoever. It just folds right down. Uh, there's no true structure to it, uh, like something like these Nike cleats. Overall, not only are these cleats super duper narrow, they do not fit tight no matter how tightly you lace them up, and I hate that. Now let's talk about the traction. The traction plate on these is easily my favorite aspect of the cleat. These super long studs that you guys see are definitely built for the grass, but I think they'll work on turf as well. One thing I did notice, and I can't tell if it's a good or bad thing, is that these studs are not as sturdy as other studs. They're kind of like almost a rubber-like material and kind of bend. Like I can actually bend them with my finger, which is a little bit weird. But as you guys can tell by the dirt on the bottom of the cleat, I tested these in the grass and they performed super well. I was able to cut and change direction, no problem. But at some points it almost felt like these studs were too long. If I didn't pick up my feet high enough, they would snag on the grass just a little bit, but not a real problem. Now let's talk about the styling of the cleat. These are definitely some of the sharper cleats that we've reviewed on the channel. The track spike silhouette is clean and then there's a ton of really cool details that I showed you guys in the unboxing portion of this video. But they do come in your plain colors like this green one and then they also do have a couple limited edition options like this Racing 96 pair. Now let's talk about what positions is this cleat designed for. So these are a skill cleat through and through designed for the fastest guys on the field, hence the track spike design. These cleats are made for running backs, wide receivers, and DBs. I can't really see any other positions wearing these due to the lack of support all around. Now let's talk money. How much are these cleats going to run you? These cleats retail for $110. Not a terrible price, but I feel like you guys would get more value out of the Under Armour Spotlight for only $10 more at $120. But then again, these are the lightest cleats in the game, so that holds a lot of value if you guys are all about lightness. Overall, I was really excited to test out these super light track spike inspired football cleats, but I was kind of disappointed. They're really comfortable, but they're just not secure on your feet, which is something I value heavily. If you guys do end up getting these, maybe swap out the stretchy laces and you'll get a little bit more support. Um, but yeah, they do look amazing and have excellent traction for grass fields. So there you guys have it. There is the full unboxing and review of the Under Armour Blur Smoke, the lightest cleat in football. So once again, I want to thank David from OA Sports LLC on Instagram. Check him out below for sending me these awesome green Under Armour Blur Smoke. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And so there you guys have it. There's the full unboxing and review of the Under Armour Blur Smoke. If you guys did enjoy this video, considering like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. We post three football videos every single week and they're fire. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thanks again for watching another episode of Footballers.